They can now rear as many chickens as possible. This is after shifting from the use of fuel and charcoal to use the electricity for their chicken run. Rufunsa Girls School Head Teacher Bridget Nambwele says this is just one of the many other production unit activities being undertaken here. We thank the government for the efforts that they made, that they were able to cable the, the, as to the national grid. And so we have power and that improved a lot of things from using charcoal or firewood to cook. We can, you can see we have now electrical pots. And with the availability of electricity in teacher houses, lesson planning is also much easier. We used to have uh, power cuts as early as 20 hours sometimes, and maybe you've been on duty, so the moment you knock off, you get home, power will go, and you have no time to prepare for early morning lessons. And even during the day, we would, have, we would have challenges to come and teach, especially if you wanted to use uh, IT uh, equipment such as projectors, we wouldn't have power. But since uh, we were connected to the national grid, there have been a lot of improvements. To this effect, the school is able to host pupils at any given time with no struggle. This is what we need to see in a good number of our schools. School managers with a lot of initiatives that can propel the educational agenda ahead of us. The school was connected to the national electricity grid in May 2019. Ephraim Chiluva ZNBC News, Rufunsa.
electricity has uh, tremendously contributed to the girl child in receiving quality education in the sense that uh, they are able to make research uh, on their own with the gadgets that uh, they come with. They are also able to study even using the computers in the computer lab to make uh, research for the assignments and projects given to them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment and subscribe.